what is that, right? Well, it's this a special static function like get, all right, that will give us access to automatically to different types of routes, all right, that we can use in our controller. Now, I'll show you right now how that works. So I'm going to comment this out real quick and I'm going to call this special method called resource. All right. So resource will help us very simply by creating special routes for us that we can use in the controller. So let me give you an example. So let's say I want to create um, everything in post. I'm going to write it down plural and I'm going to say post controller controller. I don't have to type in the method anymore because I'm not just sending a request for the method index. I'm sending a request for create, update, delete, destroy, all that stuff right here. All right. Re-update, um, create and delete or destroy are already here. So let me show you right now. So if I go to my little terminal right here and I type in PHP artisan and you can do this in the regular terminal. Remember guys. And then I say route colon list enter. Look at all this. With that route that I gave in the first parameter of that method, post, it created for me some name routes already. Post that index, post that store. So it created all these resources for me, these names automatically. What that does for me is that not only does it create the names, but it also creates the methods in which they are sent. So we can see that this post created is sent as a get request. All right? Because we don't have any information. We're not sending data. For this one, for post that destroy, all right, we are sending some type of ID. This gets sent with a method, with a delete method that's special in Laravel. All right? It's very secure. Another one is post forward slash post update. For updating, we send it as a put or patch. We'll talk a little bit about that later in the course, how we use this patch. This one is sent as a get to show, and this one is sent as a get to edit. All right, so let me show you real quick. So now if, let's say I want to see something, right? I want to be able to see. I'm going to use post in my in my uh, URL, post forward slash uh, ID or something, right? Show you that. So let's go to the controller and let's go to that method show right here. So I'm going to return. This is the show method. Yay. I'm always exaggerating with my words, right? All right. So we can see that it is showing an ID there. And if we go to that show right here, we see that it does have an ID, right? So we have to type it in like that right here. So enter, it doesn't find it. Okay, that's because, let's find out real quick. That's because we're not using that ID right here. So let's use that. There we go. Post. Actually, it's because I wasn't spelling it right. And enter. All right. And not only that, but we are also passing the ID. I wasn't spelling it correctly before. All right. So I hope you see that. Now, if we want to access let's say another method let's call it the method create all right we can go to the method create I'm just giving giving you an example 
and we can say return I am the method that creates stuff all right so now if I go in the URL and I say post forward slash create enter you can see that that data gets returned so what we did was with the resource is that we were able to create all this URL all right parameters for us automatically with our methods that the data gets sent with not only that but we also have name routes so we could use these name routes in whatever we want in our application we can use it in a link to say hey listen user if you go to post that index I want you are going to go to this part of my application hey user if you go to post that create I'm going to send you to this part of my website or application which is going to allow you to create a user or a post in the form all right so we with that resource we get all this action our name routes our URI and our methods that the data the data gets sent so this right here this post that store we get post data right here all right so if I use a type in goes to post all right automatically we can create some type of page there that will send a post request to a database to ask for information or to even input information in our database and it's super secure all right we're gonna see that in the application that we will be building later on I, I just wanted you to have some really good information on what you know we can do with resource and how we communicate it to our post uh, to our post controller methods here okay I hope you have a really good idea on what they are you can go ahead and try the edit but they're all the same as long as you follow this convention if you don't follow the convention that's here it's not going to work for you make sure that you follow this URI here all this he uh, URLs here have an ID after it after the forward slash all right so anyway thank you so much for watching this lecture and I'll see you in the next one take care